Alright guys, welcome back to my video here. We're continuing on the FPS video I just put out. Um, I made a small change in the last video. I just simply changed the way it looks when I shoot. Before I had the tracer rounds coming out, this time I just... I kind of simplified it. I haven't made any major change. Um, just the way it looks. So, from where we left off, it looks the same. And I also made it so when my bullet enters, uh, sometimes you'll see an impact on the ground. It's not perfect, but I just added that to you quickly off camera. And if you want to know how I did that, I just uh, I gave the plane, the ground, a tag called impact. And under bullet, I made a trigger on enter tag impact. We're just going to instantiate a small impact, which I did here. And this impact has a trigger too, where it destroys itself after one second. Nothing major, it was just a quick little, I just forgot to record myself doing it, but it's really not that important. I can show you how to do it later on. It's actually in some of my other videos, so if, you, you know, if you're looking for that, or if you want to wait a little bit, it's coming. Anyways... We are going to continue off, I mean there's not too much else to do, like this is the basics of a first person shooter. Um, maybe maybe an ammo counter and another basic, well I, I don't really have to make a basic AI, there's already videos on how to do that, just watch those. And there's also shooter AIs in some of my other videos, so. This is pretty much as far as it's going to go with the FPS videos, I'm thinking. Um, let's see, we're going to take the acceleration off. And maybe... We're just going to take head bobbing off. And it should be a little more fluent looking. Alright. Next, we're going to do... Actually, we're gonna we're gonna add like a little laser sight so we actually know where we're aiming because we're not doing crosshairs. So under attachments, I'm gonna create let's see a three D object cylinder. All right, and take off the collider, and for the material. Let's see, I'm going to create a new material. Call it laser. I'm going to make it red. And then we're also going to transparent it and make it very hard to see. There, 150 is good. All right, and now what? We are going to shape it out. That's what I'm looking for is a laser like that. And we are going to cast shadows off of it and receive shadows off of it. There we go. So now we have an idea of where our bullet's going to be shooting. Looks pretty good. It don't like I might move it down or up just a tiny little bit cuz I want to be able to see the bullet still. There. Try that. Perfect. 
All right, lasers there, that's good. And now I'm thinking we add some kind of aiming component. So I'm gonna call this button shoot and then I'm gonna duplicate it, call it button aim. I'm just going to turn these off of it so it does nothing when we press it. And we're going to slide it up here a bit. And we're going to give it a different picture so we know it's an aiming button. Um, we'll do that one there. And make it a little bigger. We'll go 200 by 200. Save, make sure that's out of the way of the joystick. Okay, maybe just a tiny bit higher. Perfect. Okay, create empty, we're gonna call this normal position, add a marker, and then we're gonna duplicate this, call this aim position, and that's gonna be like just over here a bit. So when we aim it, it's gonna move everything over here to the center of the screen, I hope. And change our FOV a bit. All right, let's give that. Sorry, I'm not really explaining what I'm doing here, but I'm setting it up and I'll explain it as I go. So basically this marker here is where our gun's always at on the screen. The one that I made to the left side is gonna move our gun over there, kind of center out the crosshair with our camera. And I'm gonna change the FOV so it zooms in. It will give the impression we're aiming okay um, so let's see this is what it'd be like aiming no so we're gonna move that over just a little bit That will be our aim position. Okay. Now, let's do this. So, button aim. So, when we press the button, We are going to, do I want to run conditions or? No, I don't. I am going to do, I'm going to do this the manual grindy way. So I'm going to duplicate the button name. I'm going to call this button normal. I'm going to turn that off. So button aim. We are going to set active button normal to true we are going to move change position of weapons to the game object of aim position world um, half a second linear time We're gonna change the FOV of the camera. Actually, not yet, we're not gonna do that yet. 
so we're gonna set active button aim to false and then we're gonna do the same thing on this button now so we're going to set active so we're gonna do opposite so instead of button normal to true we're gonna do button aim to true and then we're gonna move it to normal position move position of weapons to game object normal position world half a second linear I believe yes and then button normal to false now button normal nope there we go all right so let's just take a quick peek at what this does so this should be pretty much everything just without the zoom okay Let's see what would get a good FOV be. So like 25 maybe. We'll go 25, and then the normal is 40. So button aim FOV. We'll do that right here. So do that to 25. Copy that paste 40 now let's try that okay so it only happens after the fact so we're gonna we're not gonna wait to complete So we got a basic little aim. We got a shoot. We got a laser to guide us. It's starting to look pretty good for a mobile game being built in an hour. All right. And we could add a reload button. Probably not though. Honestly, it's just gonna be like an arcade shooter. I'm not doing anything with this actually. I'm not doing anything, so I'm not too worried. There's reload tutorials on some of my other shooter videos. Adding the stats in, running certain conditions. It's all too much for a quick FPS tutorial. Alright. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else that's basic that we can add into this. So we got shoot, aim. And yeah, no, honestly, I think we're good. I mean, you could like shake the weapon a little bit when you shoot, so it kind of looks like it's giving you some kickback. Oh, you know what? I remember there being a little glitch last time I did this, so. I'm gonna see if it's it happens when you use it when you move your character and aim at the same time I can't really do that because I have two different joysticks so I'm gonna go back to keyboard controls and we're gonna try this just wanna make sure it's still not an issue and if it is I remember being able to fix it okay yeah so it's still an issue This happens when you move and aim at the same time. So maybe when you aim, it will stop your character from moving for about a second, and then you can continue moving again, and that should stop that. 
so button aim let's see input we'll just do is controllable not and then input is controllable. And I'll try that again on this side. Input not controllable. Input controllable. And let's see. Just stop moving. Hmm. Anyways, yeah, that's a glitch and it's been bugging me for a bit. I do remember solving it one time, but I also had a lot more stuff going on. And I was actually serious about this game I was making, so I went out of the way to figure that out. I really don't have the time right now to figure this out. I'm just trying to throw out a quick couple of videos just to keep my channel alive. Um, I do want to get way more in depth with this stuff with you guys, but it's just it's not the right time for me. A lot going on, not a lot blowing off on my YouTube side, so. I mean, until those days start happening, it's just going to be quick, easy tutorials. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and if you have any suggestions of other tutorials you'd like to see, I'm happy to give them a shot. But for now, this is, this is all we're getting, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, I guess.